I can solve problems with the Pythagorean theorem, theorem with 65% mastery. On um, yesterday, we began looking at the Pythagorean theorem. Does anybody remember anything we mentioned yesterday about the Pythagorean theorem? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Good job, all right. That is correct. Um, so once again, some more vocabulary. We stated on yesterday that a theorem is something that has been proven true. Not true by you, but proven true by a mathematician. Um, we discussed yesterday that this Pythagorean theorem deals with right triangles. So it's important that we able to recognize what a right triangle is. It does have the little box in the corner. And then, of course, the two legs are the size that meet that angle, as the picture shows us. And then, of course, that longest side is known as the hypotenuse. The slant of it. And then Pythagorean theorem, as Mariah just told us, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, telling us that the sum of the squares of the legs are equal to the sum of that hypotenuse. And your hypotenuse is always your longest side. So if we got to substitute into the equation, just remember the longest side has to be that hypotenuse or C. So if you don't have nothing else right now, definitely get that formula. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. All right, somebody read that to us. Draw a diagram to this of the problem. Good job, thank you, sir. So today we're going to be looking at some real world problems with the Pythagorean theorem. And it may be very important that you need to draw a diagram. I'm going to draw that right triangle and I'm going to label it with the information they gave me just to make sure I get the correct answer. Your practice is found in its normal position, normal spot in Schoology. Quite a few of these have text boxes, then little picture symbols where you can upload a copy of your work. All right, once you get there, somebody read number one to us. Kyle held a balloon eight feet off the ground straight above his head. Ava is standing 15 feet directly to the right of Kyle. Which equation can be used to find the value of X? Good job. What do you recognize X is in this problem? Good job. Somebody read number one No me, you ain't no me. We're gonna be sitting here waiting. Is it a leg? All right, so if we were to label that diagram as A squared, B squared, and C squared, what would my alphabet go? So yet again, I ask you, what is X? Is it a leg or what? X is the Pythagorean, not sorry, it's the hypotenuse. Oh, okay, thank you, ma'am. Somebody getting us somewhere. So with X being a hypotenuse, what can I label it as? C. Good job. What can I label eight? And 15 as? A for 8 and then 15B. All right, or you could have put A for 15 or B for 18. It really didn't matter as long as they opposite. So based on that, what's our equation? A 
8 feet squared plus 15 feet squared equals C squared. All right, good job. Part B of that said, how far is Abel from the balloon? So now they want us to solve it. What's eight squared? 64. Two, 289. All right, so 289 equals 2x squared. So now what do we need to do to figure out x? How do we get rid of a square? The square root. Cubes. That's the square root. Yeah, so that would be the square, square root. root. Equal to x. So go All right, somebody read number two to us. Ayla skates 40 feet due north in a skating rink. Then she skates 30 feet due west before skating down. What they, what they were say? Diagonally. Diagonally across the rink back to where she started. Where's the total distance Kayleen skates? Thank you, Red. So after we read you read this problem, did you kind of understand what's going on? Good job, India. No. But they did tell me some things that I do know. They said 40 feet north and 30 feet west. Which direction is north and which direction is west? Wait, this is a little. Good job. So that means we need these corner directions. Get them down. So noticing that, that means I'm going to draw me a right triangle with those dimensions they told me. 40 north. And then they said we went 30 feet west. That's my triangle. So now they want to know what is the total distance of this diagonal. So how can we go about solving to find the total distance of the diagonal? X is a hypotenuse. So okay. we would say 30 squared plus 40 squared equals X squared. All right, and I'm always start with our original formula. A, B, and C. A and B are your legs. And then, as Blakeman told us, X is their hypotenuse, so it would be C. All right, so go ahead and find 30 squared and 40 squared. 900. 1,600. 
Right now we need x squared, but we just want x. We have to square root it. Good job. So now I find the square root of 2,500. 50. Learn it now. You won't struggle with it in Algebra 1. All right. Somebody drop down and read number three to us. Suppose, Suppose a Keep reading. Suppose a 50 foot ladder is leaning against a wall. Which statement about the base of the ladder is R true? Thank you. All right, so they told us several different things. We got base and reaching on the wall. Let's think about it. First, I'm going to uh, what they already gave me. They said a 50 foot ladder is leaning on the wall. So I'm like, this is my wall. And so this is my ladder leaning on that wall. And they said that ladder is 50 feet. Leaning on that wall. So A says the base can be 14 and the ladder reaches up 48 feet on the wall. So what they're asking, can this be A? And B, B, 48. How can we prove if that will work? What now does it, does it look like? A triangle. Okay, it looks like a triangle. What do I know about a right triangle? How can I prove that I can have 14, 48 as my leg and that that ladder that's 50 feet can work? Substitute them into the equation. Good job. So go ahead and try 14 squared plus 48 squared and we're gonna see if it equals 250 squared. Yes. Meaning we got some friends who need to know why you're saying yes. What's 14? Okay. 14 squared, I got 196. 48 squared is 2,304. So what you do, you add them up to see if that equals 50 squared. So 50 squared is 2,500. And 196 plus 2,304 is 2,500. So that's how I got it. Yeah. Uh, so A will work. So then part B said we got 24 feet from the wall and then it climbs 48 feet on the wall.
Somebody said, no, nope. give me 24 square, give me 45 square. 576. What's 576? 24 square? Yes, ma'am. And then 45 square was? 20, 000, 2000, 2025. You said add that together, we got 2601, which is not equal to 2500. Good. All right, so DM Part C said 27 feet from the wall and 44 feet up the wall. 27, 44. What add up to 2665? 20, uh, 27 square is 729, and then 44 square is 1936. And then when you add them, you get 2665, and it's not equal to 2500. I missed the beginning, Angelo. 27 square is 729, and then 44. A square pyramid with A equals 20 millimeters and B equals 96 millimeters is shown. What is the length of size C? A equals 20 millimeters and B equals 96. Okay, so you saw my B represents just that part of that triangle? Look closely. What does B show us and what does the base of the triangle show us? The base of the triangle is 96, but like the pyramid is. So if you cut it in half, 
you probably have the the measurement for the bottom length. Good job. You said a key word, cut it in half. No, nine six is going all the way across. So we need the bottom half of this triangle. Cut it in half, like you know what you got. Forty-eight. Great job. So now that we know that piece of that triangle on the inside, how now can we find C? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So we can say two, 48 squared plus 20 squared equals C squared. Great job, Lyson, that is correct. Go ahead and get the measurements of 48 squared and 20 squared. I got two thousand three hundred. I got two thousand three hundred and four for forty-eight, and I got four hundred for twenty. When you add them up, you get 2704, 2704. Right, so now, how do we find C? You have to square root it. Good job. Which gives you 52? 52. 53 or 52? 52. 52. So I mean, the length of C would be 55 millimeters. Any questions about it? All right, so I'm going to read the next one to us. He used baseball bat as a length of 33 inches. He wants to know if he if it will fit completely inside the box, John. All right, so we got a baseball bat. We trying to see if it'll fit into this box. Let's see if it'll fit into this box. The only possible way, since the length is 24 and the width is 18, what could be his possible way of trying to make that bat fit? Put it out. Diagonally. Put it diagonally. So if we were to draw a diagonal through this, to put that diagonally, now think about what would make our triangle. Think about what would be our A and our B so that we can get that diagonal. Think about what you know about a box. If we know we're looking for A and B, what parts of that box will represent our A and our B? A 
A go which way? B go which way? On the small triangle, what's the direction of A and of A? Is it going up and down, left and right? Like we don't know direction. Uh, B goes up and down. B going up and down. So looking at that box, what measurement is going up and down? 16 inches. Which will be our eight? 18. You gonna go with the width of it? 24. Let's try 18. She said 18 first. All right, so try it out. 16 squared plus 18 squared, and we want to know what would that give us in hopes that it'll get us to 33 or greater than 33. What's 18, Michelle? Oh, that was the one you were going with, 18? All right, 16 times 16. Somebody gave us 256. Okay, what's 18 squared? 18 squared is 324. And then add it together, you will get 580. Yeah. Right. Take the square root of 580. 24. 24 and it had some other stuff behind it. So will that work? No, because the baseball bat needs more room. Good job, it needs more room. So we can't take it on this side, but let's say we try to take it on the front. So now the front, that will be 24 squared, and then height is still the same of 16 squared. Check and see if we can lay it that direction. So we know 16 squared is 256. Somebody give us 24 squared. All right. Come on, say five, seven, six. All right, add that together. All right, 832. Now, what do we need to do? Square root. All right, I think you're going in and out, but I didn't hear the square root. So somebody go ahead and get us that square root. 28. I say 28, that's 0. 0.8, so I would say 29. So in either direction that we try to lay that back, will there be enough room? No. All right. It's an explain your reasoning question. So what can we say? What's our rationale for why we say it won't fit into that box?
it will not fit because the longest part is still smaller than the needed inches. Good job, um, Lakeman. Explanation is pretty much what did we do? Now that we solved the problem, you all said it wasn't working, then we asked for an explanation and then we get ghost. It's the same thing. How did you prove that it would not work? We showed that the diagonal of the box will be smaller than the length of that baseball bat. Any questions on it? All right, someone read the next one to us. Mr. Curzo wants to store a 12 foot long pipe in a tool closet that is six foot feet wide and six feet long and eight feet high, will it fit? All right, so they gave you two different directions of seeing if it'll fit. They first gave the diagonal going up through the bottom. So if we use this diagonal for C, what would be our A and our B? Do we see the triangle in the bottom? We could use six. All right, so how can we see what the length of C would be? What's the only formula we've been dealing with? A squared equals B squared equals C squared. Thank you, Mariah. And I said we don't learn nothing else about Pythagorean theorem. We at least know what it looks like. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Now you just said our A and our B would be six. Somebody go ahead and give us six squared. Good job. Go ahead and add it together. All right, 72, good job. So if we're looking for C, but we now have C squared, how can we figure out C? Square root. Good job. So go ahead and find the square root of 72. When I tell you about I was off the Shayla, all right, so about 8.45. So can we lay that pipe the length of C? Why you say no, Ari? Because it's too short, because it said you need a 12 foot pole. It's 12 foot long, but it only measures 8.4. Let us see, because it is 12 feet. All right, what other direction did they try to tell us to check and see what work? <laughs> Look at your diagram.
All right, so another diagonal. What will be the length and width of that diagonal? Uh, the link would be eight and width is six. Good job. All right, we already said six squared is 36. I'm going to give us eight squared. All right, six and four, add it together. All right, 100. Now what do we need to do? Find the square root. Great right, job. And what's the square root of 100? Shayla told us 10. So will that pipe fit that way? No. Keep going. We need a rationale. The store needs a 12 foot long pipe, but the the, the square root of 100 is only 10, so we can't use it. Great job, um, Mariah. Your explanation and rationale are not as hard as you all make it out to be. If we solved it and showed it, then we just need to explain what we did to see why we're saying what we're saying. Any questions about it? All right, that was question what, six. So that means you have maybe four left. As always, do not forget to go back later and complete your practice. And of course, do not forget to submit. Some of your practices are in progress. And I know it's in progress because we start on it in class. However, it's your responsibility to make sure that you go back and submit your work. As always, if you have any questions and concerns for me, anyone does know how to reach me, Progress reports will go out on Friday. So go ahead and make sure you have taken care of your business. Um, I will double check math, most likely tomorrow, which is Tuesday. So go ahead and make sure you have taken care of your business so that we can get your grades in. And as always, if you have any questions and concerns for me, send me a message. Have a great Tuesday.